going around before you just chase it. The up. What you have to do is the release. He does. He puts the pressure on, but then he doesn't release the rope. Nice, nice. Way so to go. You're going to put a rope on him. Ah! And a collar when you get home. And you're going to do it him. <laughs> okay, so don't get around. Get around. So this time it might be a little it's bit longer before you can drop the rope because now he's going to be pulling out. Because he just had fun. He said, "Don't listen to Diane." So we might have to walk around the pen a bunch of times here. So what he started out doing was just chasing. He just was right after you were going. Okay. <laughs> and what did he do? He chased him around. He were in a golf ball. I don't know how to do it. He rounded them up, too. Oh, did he? But the one that gets too close to you. Yeah. I don't know. I threw out that. That's what she's training him not to do. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Ye
always has tension on his leash and collar. That's what he thinks life is supposed to be all about, having tension on his leash and his collar. You have to learn to release the tension. You should be able to walk on a loose lead. You should be able to sit down, whatever, all on a loose lead. If you can do that, then you won't have any problems with your recalls because he already is in a mindset to be working with you. Yeah, that makes sense. But if you have constant pressure on the leash and the collar, then all he thinks is that that's how life is. And then when he doesn't feel the pressure, he's going to run. Yeah. All right. So we're going to quit with him there because he's about toasty. Okay. We're going to go over to the gate and let him get a drink of water and chill out. Good boy. Thank you, sheep. Thank you, sheep. Bye. Poor, those poor things.